Hi, I'm Ron Greenwald. I'm here with Paul Greenwood, our San Diego Deputy District Attorney who fights elder abuse every day of his career. And today we're going to discuss tip number eight of Paul's tips one through ten on how to avoid becoming a victim of senior elder abuse. Paul? Thank you. Tip number eight actually is very specific for people who are unsighted. Uh, sometimes people say uh, blind or just uh, visually impaired people because I've had a number of cases where my elderly victims have been visually impaired, and as a result, they've been unable to read, for example, their bank or their credit union statements every month. They've actually then allowed somebody who lives with them to tell them what's in that bank or credit union statement. Unfortunately, that live-in person has been the very person who's been stealing from them, so they tell them uh, lies about what's in the statement. In one of my cases, it was the grandma had $55,000 stolen from her account by her granddaughter, who was a drug addict, and it was the granddaughter who kept telling her grandmother, oh, everything's fine with your account, you don't need to worry. So if you are visually impaired or you know somebody in your family who is, suggest to them to have the bank or the credit union send a duplicate copy of the bank statement to a trusted professional advisor or a trusted family member outside of the home who can have a separate pair of eyes looking over your accounts so that if anything like a red flag pops up, they can immediately alert you and alert your bank or financial institution. Thank you, Paul. And please share this with family and friends. It's tips one through 10. There are other videos out there as well of Paul's tips. And we really want to help our seniors avoid becoming a victim of senior elder abuse. Thank you.